Welcome back to All This Math. This is Professor Parker. In today's lesson, we're going to be going over how to make a 10 within 100. All right, so you see we have four different examples up here, 29 plus 5, 49 plus 7, 59 plus 6, and 87 plus 5. Now, what we want to do is we want to look for the bigger add-end. So if you look at 29 plus 5, those are both what we call add-ends, and the answer will be called a sum, right? The bigger one, of course, is 29. So we're going to make a 10 out of 29. But we're not going to go to the actual number 10. And when we say make a 10, we're talking about a number that ends in zero that is in the tens, right? Or a multiple of 10, I should say. So the closest number that ends in zero, that's a multiple of 10 to 29, would be 30. So we want to basically make this 29 become a 30. And 30 is a multiple of 10. So it still satisfies the make a 10 method. All right. But the thing is, we say, OK, well, what do I need to add to 29 to make it into a 30? I need to add one to it. But then the question is, where am I going to get the one from? I'm going to get the one from the other add in this five. So I need to break this five down into one plus four. Right. And then you put the twenty nine with the one. We add those together. That's how we make our ten or our multiple of ten, which is thirty. And then we bring the four down and then we have thirty plus four, which is thirty four. That's the sum of this question right here. Twenty nine plus five. Let's go to the next example, 49 plus 7. Similar situation, we have a two-digit number that has a 9 in the ones place. We want to make a 10 or a multiple of 10. The closest multiple of 10 to 49 is 50. So I need to add 1 to 49. But then, again, the question, where am I going to get the 1 from? I'm going to get it from the other add-in, which is 7. So I'm going to basically, I keep saying break it down. The technical term is decompose, right? We either decompose the 7 or break down the 7, right, into two sums. So we have, or two add-ins, I should say. So we have one and six. So we put the 49 with the one. That gives us 50. And then we're going to add that six to get 56. All right. In case anybody's watching this wondering why we got to do all this, it's because it's going to help develop number fluency. Number fluency and number sense. And number sense is the mathematical version of common sense. So the more number sense we have, the better we'll be at math, regardless of what level of math we're working on. So then we have 59 plus 6. Again, another two-digit number that ends in 9. We need to add 1 to this to make it into a multiple of 10. So we want to make this 59 into a 60. But where are we going to get the 1 from that we need to add to it? We're going to break the 6 down and make it become 1 and 5. So 1 plus 5. So we got 59 and 1, which is 60. And then we bring the 5 down. So 60 plus 5 is going to be 65. Right? Last but not least, we got 87 plus 5. Notice that the 1's place... The digit is different now. Now we have a seven in the ones place, whereas in the previous three examples, we had nines in the ones place. Not a big deal, though. We just need to know that you need to add three to 87 to create a multiple of 10, which would be 90. That's the closest multiple of 10 to 87, which is 90. You're trying to make a 10 and get to a 10 or a multiple of 10. So where am I going to get the three from? I'm going to get it from the five. So we take the five, break it down into three plus two. We put the 87 with the 3. The 87 with the 3 becomes 90. We just made our 10 or our multiple of 10. And then we're going to add 2 to that. So 90 plus 2 is going to be 92. And that is today's lesson.